This local sports report is presented by the BFD Building Center, a proud supporter of the KW Siskins. BFD is Waterloo Region's only Rona store, and it's locally owned. At their store in Kitchener, you will find a huge range of products and supplies for any home project, including specialty fences and decks, plus friendly professional staff ready to lend an expert recommendation. You can also order online at rona.ca for in-store pickup or delivery. Drop in to see them in Kitchener on Forwell Road at Victoria Street North or visit bfdrona.com. An extremely exciting opportunity for Matt Doyle, who becomes a head coach in the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League for the first time, officially announced here tonight at the Siskins Banquet. First of all, Matt, congratulations. Awesome for you. First time as a bench boss in this league. What does it mean to you personally? I know a lot's gone into this, and it's just a great opportunity for you with an amazing organization. Well, it's a complete honor to be with such an organization like the Waterloo Siskins, who have a huge history. Um, and it's a privilege to be in this league with such great coaches. Pete Crosby obviously is the man that you take over for. He was the coach of the Siskins last year, a real mentor for you. He taught you a lot. A lot of people say Pete Crosby on a whiteboard is an absolute wizard. What did you take away from him? But also with that said, what kind of style do you want to develop? Because now you're the head coach. You know, you learn a little bit from Pete, but you also put your own stamp on it a little bit as well, right? Uh, Pete's one of the best hockey minds I've ever been around. Um, you know, some of the stuff he'd come up with, I've never been a part of that or actually seen personally. I'm just a just a genius, you know. Obviously, being around, being around him for the last two years, being around, you know, Willie a little bit in Stratford, um, you know, I'm looking for the opportunity to kind, almost combine a little bit of both, you know, uh, being really prepared and being a systematic coach. Let's hear from B.J. Huddle as well as Mike Camilleri. Camilleri is the director of hockey operations with the Siskins. Huddle's the general manager. Here's what they had to say about Matt being named the head coach. The staff, the ownership group, like Matt can go from a player to ownership and he navigates very, very well um, for a young man that's just cutting into junior hockey. And, and you know he's a hot commodity when other teams are asking for permission to talk to Matt and you know that, that that's a big statement, right? So um, we're happy to have Matt. He, I spent a year with him this year and saw the way that he has a real balanced attack and he he doesn't get too high or too low and he's calm but the kids respect him enough that they'll go through the wall for him. Matt's a great relationships guy. Um, if you were to ask any of the players they'll tell you they love being around him, they love learning from him. He's uh, he's gonna be demanding play, uh, coach. He you know is very structured, very knowledgeable uh, but I think he relates to players as a young uh, as a young coach. Um, on top of all that, you know, he's just, uh, you know, a good person. And I think he represents the organization in a great way, too. The Siskins management team excited to have you as the head coach here, Matt, going forward for next season. Let's talk a little bit about your history. You spent three or four years with the U18 program in Huron Perth. That's actually where you and I met for the first time. Great experience for you. And I know Nick Parr, somebody else that you want to give a shout out to who had a real impact on you at that time and also getting you in this league here. Oh, huge. I would say I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for Nick. Uh, Nick got me involved in, in the Stratford Warriors helping out with camp yep. and with the U18 Lakers, i say five years ago. And honestly, a, a big part of me standing here is a big part of Nick Parr. I know he's competing for the Cherry Cup, but I know a little bit of him is happy to see this happening as well. Last one. What kind of team are we going to see in September? What's the focus for this group? The season starts now. The banquet's been handed out. The awards are done from this past season. Now it's on you. you got to find wins, right? We're going to be a hard-working family and a 200-foot family that plays defensive-style hockey.